morning, everyone. Thank you so much for the uh, kind introduction, Terry, and thank you for all your uh, tireless work on behalf of uh, the folks of the Sioux. I have to say, uh, uh, Terry's a regular contributor at caucus meetings, uh, highlighting uh, uh, not just concerns uh, for people here in the Sioux, but uh, right across northern Ontario, always focused with his municipal background on uh, how to have the best impact in the lives of people in their everyday lives. Uh, he's a great voice, and I'm lucky to have him today. Thank you very much, Terry. Uh, you and David are doing a phenomenal job of representing the people of Sault Ste. Marie, and I'm uh, glad you're both here with me. Thank you as well for being here, David. I always want to thank, uh, also want to thank Mayor Provenzano for welcoming us to the city. Uh, Christian is a longtime friend, an incredibly hard worker, and uh, Sault Ste. Marie's strongest advocate. Thank you, Christian, for your warm welcome. And thanks to all of you for coming out to the bus line today, where the people you see behind me work hard every day to keep the system up and running and in good repair. And I know that can be a challenging job. Sault Ste. Marie Transit Services, like transit systems all across Canada, has been hard pressed to keep up with the kind of system improvements that passengers expect. The mayor understands this. So does Terry, who is a councillor for many years. And so, most importantly, to the people who rely on transit services every day. You see, Riders know that reliable service isn't just about convenience. It's about getting to work on time and back home is important. But we're great on this game. Transit is a vital part of the city, as it is in many communities all across the country. And the work that's being done here in this farm helps to make better, more reliable transit service possible. So I'm happy to announce today that this important work has new federal investments to back it up. In last month's budget, we announced $3.4 billion in investments in public transit over the next three years, starting right away. These investments will improve the reliability and efficiency of public transit systems, strengthening communities, and growing Canada's economy. Here in Ontario, this will mean an investment of nearly $1.5 billion over the next three years to achieve those goals. That'll mean millions for public transit right here in Sault Ste. Marie, subject to agreement with the province. Is there a system that we see?